Well, TxDOT has an idea why pelicans are a danger to drivers on one stretch of highway in Cameron County. Right now, they have safety measures in place to protect both people and the pelicans. Channel 5's Christian Bond Pricing joins us to explain. The area along Highway 48 wasn't always like what it is now. Decades ago, construction started on the Port of Brownsville ship channel. The construction cut off the waters of the Gulf. This area, called the Bahia Grande, dried up to a virtual desert. In 2005, a pilot channel was constructed from the ship channel to the Bahia Grande, filling it back up with water. Along Highway 48, the brown pelicans that spend time around here fly low. And often, when they try to cross this bridge, they get stuck in the lanes of traffic. The pelican population has been steadily increasing. Since November, Leanne Kosher has been putting trackers and bands on the brown pelicans. She's been helping TxDOT figure out what to do next in this area. Today, TxDOT representatives sat down with the public to explain their latest plans and the current problem. TxDOT believes that the barriers on this bridge are what causes the turbulence that affects the bird. It's called bad air or disruptions or low pressure. It kind of pushes them down toward the highway. Last winter, so many pelicans were being killed, volunteers showed up. As more volunteers started showing up at this road, TxDOT got more concerned about their safety. It's very dangerous. Nicole Ekstrom was one of those volunteers last year. Despite the danger, they saved birds. It, their efforts have, have really, really reduced mortality. TxDOT is still concerned about safety. The agency says they're aiming to replace the side of the bridge and want to get it done by 2019. TxDOT says its plans for the winter include putting up electronic warning signs to warn drivers and communicating with state troopers to keep an eye on those volunteers. Along Highway 48, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News. TxDOT says it's still studying what will replace the side of the bridge. This is Channel 5 News Extra. TxDOT says a recent estimate could cost $2 million. The department is working on identifying a source of funding for it.